Hi guys, KGT here back again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own object show characters in Google Slides. Now, basically, when it comes to object show characters, I originally used limbs and eyes and mouths with small little sticks, as you can see right up here. I, w I originally used these as the limbs, which made it look a little idiotic the first time I did an Inanimate and Fury intro, which was like, I think, last year. Now, I say this because I've actually learned a brand new way to, cre to create your own object show characters. So I'm, so for example, we're going to recreate the character Z-Pad, which is one of the hosts of the show as you've seen in my new Inanimate Fury intro. If not, if you didn't if you didn't know this, then be sure to check out Inanimate Fury new intro video, which came right before this one, so be sure to check that out on my YouTube channel. Anyway, let me show you how, how I made him. So first off, the basic thing that I do is usually get the limbs, like the legs and the arms. So, first you need to find one that uh, that fits with him, like this one. I usually have it on, have it like his hand is on his hip, for example. Now, one thing that you need to know, do, you need to put this down to a smaller size in order to make the limbs work. And that's not really a problem that I faced while creating the characters but it is something to keep in mind. Also, I'm going to be playing this music while I'm doing this. So, I just remember that. So next, we can make another arm. The thing about a lot of my object show characters in my new Inanimate Fury intro is that I used different arms for each side. And I think some of these you might remember are actually models I used in the intro, the new version. So, the next arm I'm going to use is this arm. Oops. That's where I actually get my stuff, by the way. I search it up on Google, and then I put it here, which is very efficient. So, now we have the arms and... So now I suggest that we do the legs next. So once again, we need to find the perfect set of legs. Now this is the unique thing you can do with the legs. You can actually look up images of them together or totally different legs and have them pose in a similar way like this. So let's just drag them over here and then place them down there. Now, once again, you need to make them smaller in order to fit at the bottom of your character. And there we have the legs. Okay, so next we're going to put in the mouth. So basically they're all different types of mouths and it really depends on what emotion you want to have your characters making so but as of right now we are going to make him happy now just a quick little reminder if you do want to make your own object show characters with different emotions then i'm not gonna stop you i'm just trying to show you how to do this you put the mouth on your character the same exact way i'm on it i'm going to do now it's just a different mouth overall so we're going to choose the smile now. Now, a fun little thing about the mouse is that you can actually put it in different positions, just like you can with the arms, which gives you a lot more freedom. So lastly, you need to get the eyes. Now, I'm going to stop the music right here. The eyes, to me, are some of the most complicated things because they usually don't come in pairs so often. 
And as you can see, there are a lot of these, included a red eye one, which you can see right here. Now, if you remember from my Inanimate Fury intro, Chrome Computer actually had like um, one of those toy eyes with multiple colors on the sides. I actually did that for a small little effect, which I'm kind of very proud of right now. Now, of course, it can my opinion on that can change the later on the later I go on in years, but as of right now I'm proud of it. Now, another quick something. These eyes were actually used as teapot's eyes because her character is actually being the random one of the group. So I decided to go from mumbled eyes to this, which I guess makes a lot more sense. So anyway, back to our schedule. We're actually going to make some of these eyes his eyes. And kind of like the arms, I put the eyes in different positions because, bu because it was before I learned of the flip maneuver where it can actually do this and it can actually change its position. But while it's an eye, sometimes like this one, it will always remain the same exact thing. Okay, next thing we need to do is find his right eye or left. Now, again, I actually used different eyes when it came to this. And I think I used some of these, like this was one of Ball's eyes, and maybe one of these might have been Bacon's eyes, or someone else's, like Golden Xbox controllers. But... Besides that, nothing else can change. Now we are just focusing on this one character after all, so we don't need to do anything else. And if you're wondering why I chose Z-Pad of all the characters, is because his face is actually the widest and you have a lot of freedom when you're when you're making his face and that's the main reason why I chose him and there we go we have we now have a complete Z pad face and body now I didn't really use this pose when it came to the new inanimate fury intro I chose this because I was improvising while I was making this, which I think I don't really have much thoughts about it. But there is a small little something. Since I'm recording this in February, and it might come out before this day, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Thank you so much for all the support you, are, you have been giving me over the past few days over the past few months. I haven't really been uploading too much because I have a lot of stuff to be occupied with. Like, I have school and other activities like basketball and boxing, stuff like that. So, in any case, thanks for all the support and see you next time. And until then, happy Valentine's Day.